hello guys it's a bright sunny morning here in my country here in my county mornings for me signify new beginnings and endless possibilities this was a bright saturday morning and we were just having breakfast my family and i we are a family of three and i'm a mom of one actually so we're just having some simple breakfast some buns these are homemade buns with some pineapple some chopped pieces of pineapples my daughter was very happy about this <laughs> this morning and um some boiled frankfurters with some tea so we're just enjoying our breakfast at the family table so guys enjoying a slow breakfast at the, the dining table for my family is quite a highlight for our week this is one of our new family traditions we, that we love to keep lately it just helps us to catch up and uh, on this particular day i had a project an art project that i wanted to get into and i was just wondering have you guys ever felt a surge of energy just by watching a sunrise or sunset paint the sky i just felt a wave of inner peace looking at the calming landscape wow the art of life in our surroundings it's not just about the colors you guys and the brush strokes it's about connection connection to ourselves to nature to the beauty that surrounds us that we can often overlook and ignore but once we give it a thought once we slow down and appreciate the beauty in our surrounding we end up feeling so much gratitude and appreciation of those little often meaningless things that ultimately have so much meaning i personally love to indulge in art because it helps me to reduce stress and anxiety <laughs> especially being a work from home mom or a stay at home mom for that matter it feels the same to me honestly which comes with its own fair share of challenges you can often fall into this stressful rut I find that indulging in an art project or in art projects really boosts my mood and creativity. It increases my self-awareness and mindfulness. It helps me connect with my emotions and uh, process them healthily. So whether you're a seasoned artist or just starting to explore your creative side, this is a very nice thing to practice. If you love to paint, just try it and let me know how you feel about it down in the comment section below so basically guys what i was doing here is just uh painting my leaves i collected these leaves from outside as you saw earlier so i was just painting them with my acrylic painting which i just mixed with some a bit of water and then i used a big brush to stroke the paint on the leaves and then i just traced them on my canvas pad so this is what i was doing i was just tracing my leaves on the canvas pad and then I paint them again and then I, I I put them back, I place them back on my canvas pad and I was trying to make it into some sort of a pattern. So this is what I was doing basically. <laughs> it's not complicated, but I found it gives me so much peace, so much joy just doing this. And it really sets my mind at peace because it, it's quite fulfilling to be honest. And I love to do these art projects. I think I've shared this before in many of my videos and i was just trying to decorate a space in my house and i had a frame that was lying around so i just put it put the canvas pad on my on a on a on a carton box or a cardboard piece of box which i used when i was moving i saved it when i was moving and then um i just framed it basically so i was just highlighting the stalks of my leaves here using my my painting brush as you can see so I was just trying to highlight it to make it more real to make it look more to make it look like a real leaf basically <laughs> that's what I was doing here and if you notice I mixed the paints a bit to come up with a very unique color I was trying to mimic the brown in my sitting room uh, my doors my most of my furniture and the colors the my color theme in my sitting room is uh black white and uh, a bit of brown so i was trying to mimic that color and this leaf pattern so i mixed a bit of black and uh, some red to make this purplish color i don't know what 
color exactly it was <laughs> but it came out so perfectly i think i loved it i'm going i'm definitely going to be doing a bigger piece of this i'm going to be <clears throat> i'm going to be doing a bigger piece of art using this uh, method because it turned out really amazing let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below guys So guys, once I was done with my art painting, it was time to cook dinner. And here I was preparing pasta with some meatballs, beef meatballs. This is my daughter's favorite meal. <laughs> and I love to keep it special because I know these are some of the memories that she's going to be remembering. Like her mom's pasta used to taste as like this. So she's going to be making it like how mom used to make it so i love to make those moments very special because i want to make her memories special so that when she remembers mommy's pasta she remembers they're good memories for her so basically here yeah, what i did i just boiled my water and then i was just adding my pasta and um i love to use this brand it's called santa maria i've not used any other i think there's one i used and it was quite sticky i think if you're here in kenya you know this brand it's quite amazing for making pasta. Your pasta doesn't turn out sticky. And just make sure you put some uh, oil in your pasta to prevent it from sticking. And I just cooked mine for about five minutes and it was ready. Yeah, five minutes is enough to cook this, this, uh, this brand of pasta. And just use medium flame. So once you see that your pasta is still not sticky, you can stir it easily. As you can see my fork, I can stir it very easily. I'm not struggling, like it's not sticky. Then it's time to take it out of the fire and I love to drain it using this um, steamer of mine. <laughs> it's a multifaceted steamer, I tell you. It does so many things. <laughs> so I was just draining my pasta here and uh, what I'm going to be doing is um, pouring some cold water to stop it from cooking further. So cold water just stops it from cooking further so that it's not as sticky. If it overcooks, it's when it becomes sticky. So here, if you cold, if you pour cold water on it immediately, it doesn't stick. And I saved this water to be my vegetable stock and I cooked rice with this water, guys. It was so tasty. Don't, don't like toss away the water when you're done cooking your food. Like when you're done boiling potatoes or pasta, just save it and use it as vegetable stock. That is one thing I've learned in the kitchen. So here I was just uh, frying my meatballs. I started by frying my meatballs. The frying gives them a very nice flavor before I actually add in everything. And this day I was just trying to make a quick, fast, like one dish, one, one pot 
meal i was trying to make it fast so i'm going to be adding everything in my pot my pasta and my veggies and my meatballs i'm just going to be mixing everything together but first i love to start with the meat and then i'm going to add the rest of my ingredients as you can see them i chopped them up and i lined them here i kept them ready to just add in when my meatballs are cooked so i was just stirring them here turning them around once they've browned nicely and i'm just going to be adding the rest of my ingredients and um, i've tried making pasta before like separate pasta i cook pasta in a separate pot and i cook uh, the stew on a separate pot and personally i love this method where i mix everything up i just find that my pasta is more flavorful <laughs> just let me know down in the comment section by the way how do you guys do your pasta do you mix it up or do you like to do it separately so here i just added my tomatoes my carrots my onions and garlic to cook i also added a bit of soy sauce to break out the flavor i just feel like soy sauce goes very well with pasta i just love that combination for some reason i also added some salt and i'll be adding some mixed um, spices and i also added a bit of turmeric into my into my stew and that's about it i won't be adding anything else so once it's ready i'll be putting once the tomatoes become tender and the carrots soften i'll be adding in the other ingredients my uh, mixed peppers mixed bell peppers yellow red and green peppers i also used uh, some breakfast beans that's what i'll be adding next and uh courgettes of course so i added courgettes and then mixed bell peppers and then i added in my breakfast beans which are frozen i just took them out of the fridge i love to cook these using um i love to do baked beans using these so when i don't have uh peas because normally i do my pasta with peas and meatballs so this time i didn't have peas so i just used what i had in my freezer and this was baked beans that's why i used them here so I'll just mix everything in and once it simmers I add in my cooked pasta and the meal is ready. This is a very easy meal to fix especially if you're in a hurry. It's a one pot meal and it's quite filling, it's quite flavorful and it's quite balanced because we have proteins, we have um, uh, vitamins in our vegetables and we also have uh, carbohydrates in our pasta so it's very well balanced. And one rule of thumb that I love to keep in my kitchen to prevent my dishes from accumulating is washing a dish or two every time I have to clean my hands. And this is what I was doing here basically as my food was cooking. So let's cook our pasta. Yeah. Oh, so fine. Mm -hmm. 
And it's ready! Yay! Mm -hmm. yeah. Mommy is going to be sleeping. He's tired. I'm telling you, he wants to sleep. He wants to sleep. Let me just get the goals. He has done so much. Wait, Mommy. Um, so, Mommy, they make a hole. Thank <laughs> you. 